ICU. I was looking for a nurse that had ICU experience, but I was also looking for somebody that had that passion. Because, um, you know, hire for attitude, train for skill. She had, the, she had her nursing degree. Having somebody that had that passion to make a difference. She doesn't speak up a lot. She's not very bolsterous. But when she does speak, people listen to her. They know she is passionate about it. And she's just got unboundless energy for what she does. I figured out early on what, what nurses did. I actually thought I wanted to be a physician. I had a pediatrician that I loved, um, and I was mesmerized by what he did. As soon as I got old enough to be a candy striper in the hospital, I went and signed up. I could not wait, because I wanted to learn more about that. I very quickly learned that physicians didn't spend a whole lot of time with patients. Um, it was the nurses, and I really didn't, I didn't know any nurses. I, I didn't have, you know, any preconceived notions, but watching those nurses, I changed my mind right then that that's what I wanted to do. And when I got out of school, I started at in the um, Surgical Intensive Care Unit at Atlanta Medical Center, and I had a wonderful preceptor, and um, she actually taught me to love trauma patients. She had a love for them and how they're kind of different. We plan to have elective surgery. We plan to have babies. We plan to do those things, but we don't plan to be in a trauma and they can happen any time, day or night. And what I find with Gina is, she's always there for those patients, whatever their needs are. Because a lot of times it's emotional needs, it's not just, it's not the physical needs, because they're being cared for. She helps them to learn how to cope with that. You don't always win, you know, because sometimes it's how can you positively impact a horrible situation. And I can honestly say, I, I could never imagine doing anything Back in November 2017, it was in the evening of either Monday night or Tuesday night, Gina reached out to me about this family who had been in an auto accident. It was a family of five, and um, the family was mom, dad, 15-year-old, 8-year-old, and a 3-month-old. And the 3-month-old was severely injured in the wreck, and mom and dad were pretty injured too and came to Gwinnett. In the state of Georgia, the children go to a children's center if they're younger than 15, and the adults come to adult trauma center. So we had both mom and dad, and mom had bilateral femur fractures. And so mom had gone to the OR that day to have her femurs fixed, and Gina had received a call from the clinician down at the uh, CHOA ICU. She said the, the child had a really bad traumatic brain injury, and um, they just uh, didn't think he was going to survive very long. So she wanted to see how mom and dad were, what the extent of their injuries were, and if there were any possibility of them being discharged from the hospital because she just wanted them to be able to come up given the situation. And my wheels started turning, so I just told her, I said, let me see what I can do. She got on the phone, she called the surgeons, called her administration, and by the end of the day, she's like, if this kid makes it through the night, we're gonna be there. In my mind, I was thinking, you know, we'll be lucky if they get here in 48 or 72 hours, and then, you know, to hear within, I'd say, less than 12 hours that they were gonna be on their way here um, with a nurse accompanying them was just tremendous. It's unprecedented. You don't see that anywhere in any hospital where you take a patient that's just had surgery, much less, you know, any patient outside of your facility to another facility when they're considered still inpatient. It's just Gina knew that this was the right thing to do and felt that, you know, she needed to make it happen. So they loaded everybody up about 10 or 11 o'clock that morning and headed down and Gina had had the conversation with them that they could only stay two hours. So they had it totally arranged at CHOA to have them come to the ICU and they pulled up um, mom's stretcher right next to the baby and um, she was able to touch and hold him and to say her goodbyes. Like, it wasn't easy for her, I know. Um, and not to say like we can't show emotion but you don't want to be, you know, bawling to the point where the family is consoling you. You could tell she had her game face on and she came in and she's like, I can do this and she was on top of it. Being there and watching that and 
that emotion, it was very hard. I knew that would be the hardest part is to tell mom that it was time to go. Gina couldn't say, okay, are you, are you ready to go? Because no parent is gonna say, yes, I'm ready to see my baby for the last time. So she just looked at them and said, you know what, it's time. And I think that they were relieved to not have to make that decision. The child did progress on to, to death and passed away that Sunday. And mom was still inpatient here when that occurred, but dad was with them. I think these parents will be forever grateful that they had the opportunity to be with their son, even for that short time um, at the end of his life. I, I just could not have done what she did because, you know, to be there, to be a part of that is huge because you're, you're on the periphery, but yet you're such an intimate part of such a, you know, once in a lifetime event. All I could think of is if that was my son, I would have wanted somebody to do that for me. I, I would have wanted to be able to, to hold him one last time. Hopefully, um, it made a difference to them. Her passion and compassion showed in what she did that day. She just reminded you why you do what you do and that you don't always have to go by the books. And I think that that's just very admirable. I definitely look up to her and I wanna be like Gina when I grow up. I try to turn my blessings around and help other people. And um, I am thankful for the opportunity to do what I do. Um, and I think the people that I, that I get to work with. She truly is a hospital hero.